Hello and welcome to Rob's Astrophotography. Today I'm going to talk about how I collimate my uh, Skywatcher Quattro. Easy peasy, one, two, three. Hello, right, Newtonian collimation. What we need to do first is centre the, the secondary mirror. Now, what I've done is I've made a little bit of card, and that is the shape of your secondary mirror. Now, it's usually tilted around about 45 degrees, so as you say, if, if I tilt that 45 degrees or so, it becomes a circle. I know it's not the best circles, but it becomes a circle now if it's not quite right it, it if it's not centered it becomes ellipsoid see it does becomes out of a circle and what we need to do is center that circle under your focuser now there's a couple of various methods we can use a lot of people and it's probably the easiest is your old cap the hole in the centre. Now, if we put that in there into your focuser, we will see we will see that you can see that that's the secondary there. You can see, and it's see it's centred in the focuser. But obviously see me primary there as well at the minute but that is centered and that's what we have to do we have to center it like so now to center it is if we look at this one we have three adjustment screws and they will tilt the mirror to center the primary but we need to rotate that secondary to make sure that it's a circle under the focuser and in centered in the focuser well, on the primary moving on to the primary on the primary is there you can just see there is my dot it's usually it's always on the primary the center dot now that center dot is showed reflected in the center there. If we go into the focus it into the center there, you can see, and that is right in the center of, of me, right in the center of me primary, but it's shown back up into the cap. Now that dot should be reflected right to the center of the cap hole. And the way we do that is we go down to the bottom and there's three adjustment screws. That is the locking screw and the adjustment screw. There's three of them, two, three. And there's three of them and they work on the same principle as the secondary on a tilt it and that will move that center dot around your black disc that you can see in the center which is your secondary it will move that primary dot around that until it eats it this dot here when you look through and that is that's it that's collimation done it's not rocket science it's just a matter of just lining your secondary up your, and then lining your primary up now there's you can buy what you call a, a cheshire eyepiece which is one of these it's it's an inch and a quarter and it reflects you put the 
in into your rotator so that's that a bright source of light I just tighten that up now if I look through this one you might be able to see it a bit better but well, it's just uh, try to focus that up you can see the center dot hitting the crosshairs and that is in collimation you, that will be an oval shape because you're looking down there's a secondary will be slightly oval shaped because that's the way it, 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 it is and you've got spider veins it's a bit awkward holding this phone to the eyepiece um, but as you can see it's it's in collimation there they're also a third eyepiece we can use which is called a concentric eyepiece now I got this from uh, First Light Optics this is a 2 inch version if I drop that in there and we go to it and there you see the concentric rings all the way down and you can see the secondary centered you've got the primary centered and if I can just focus in that you got the center centered it's not really showing up very well because they're not quite bright enough there but there you have it it is easier using a concentric eyepiece and you just look down it and a little tweak and you're done do not worry about offset offset is built into the quattro and for anything longer offset is uh, irrelevant f5s and onwards you don't it doesn't it's centered but the offset is, is built into it because of the speed of the scope so there you have it it's it's simple measures simple three little tasks once you've you've uh, collimated once twice three times it will become second nature the hardest part of any collimation is doing the secondary which is getting it centered under the eyepiece with your primary in the view that is the hardest part but even that is not on just do do the center and you can see the way that is there it's simple easy and effective and you'll get great great views once it's in perfect collimation I will uh, if it's clear tonight I will show you what a, a star test looks like for collimation uh, but if not um, I'd like to thank all my subscribers for this little quick tutorial and anybody who's just watching this for the first time yeah, I'd be really appreciated if you'd uh, give a little subscribe and a thumbs up and uh, hit that bell and I really appreciate that if you have any uh, comments or suggestions please leave them down below and uh, I try I try and answer every single one thank you so much and clear skies